Today's date is December 21st, 2012. And if the Mayans are correct, and they always are, today is the end of the world as we know it. How's it going, guys? I hope that you're safe and sound wherever you're at. I decided it was time to bug out with the family and go to our secret underground bunker location. So we're all bunkered up right now, just gonna try to ride this thing out. Since it's the end of the world as we know it, I figured I'd make one last video for you. As a lot of you know, I recently completed my Urban Bug Out Bag Project version 2.0. It took me around 20 months to complete, and I completed that just in the nick of time before the apocalypse. This wasn't actually my first bug out bag. I had one bug out bag that I did many years ago, which is actually the worst bug out bag on YouTube. And that is the Urban Bug Out Bag version 1.0. So what I thought I'd do for you today is just show you all the items that I have in possibly the worst bug out bag on the internet. So let's take a closer look at Urban Bug Out Bag version 1.0. The Urban Bug Out Bag version 1.0 is so bad that I'm just gonna just dump everything out and show you what I have. This is gonna be a fairly quick video, hopefully. So let's take a look at what I have over here. I have a little top storage compartment which has uh, some basic food items. Let's see what we got. I haven't looked at this in years, by the way, so. As you see, there are no little mini compartments or anything like that. It's just all uh, one big cluster, you know. Let's see, I have a toothbrush. There's some tuna salad, some smoked salmon, some more tuna. Uh, more tuna, a little bit of hand warmers, portable stove, a uh, little utensil set, some toothbrush, toothpaste, and some scissors, and a little crank flashlight that you see here. And it doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Let's go into the main compartment area of the Urban Bug Up Bag version 1.0. Yeah, this is just all you know, one little mess. Let me just. <laughs> so let's see what I got in here. I have uh, a cheapo, a commando style you know, knife that I think I got over at Big Lots. <laughs> kind of Rambo like. And that I have no idea what brand that is. See, I have a little baggie here with some, I don't know, gum, light, matches. I have a little Morse code cheat sheet. Some Motrin. Here's some free, freeze dried food over here. Made by eFoods. So I should have about 72 hours worth of it. Let's see, what is this? <laughs> I get, this is my uh, SAS survival pouch. Similar to the Urban Bug Up Bag version 2.0, and all I have in it is some uh, tea light candles and some little fire starter right here, and that's it. I don't think there's anything else in it. <laughs> I must have taken it out at some point. Yeah, there's nothing in this little fanny pack, and as you can see, this is one of the ugly fanny packs. Uh, here's a little, I don't know, multi-function night light. Still in the packaging. <laughs> the old Chico version. Here's my little uh, military you know, mess tin. I'll put it up. Let me see what I have. Have some more tuna, more tuna, and some uh, oolong tea. Yep, some mess tin. Let's see what else have we got? A lot of the stuff I purchased over at military supply stores and things like that. Here's my water bottle and the little case that it comes in. I have to cook some soup in here if I want to. Uh, what is this? <laughs> okay, here's a bag with some random clothes. I have some <laughs> dress socks, some El Cheapo gloves. Here's a little shirt. I guess this is the early version of my clothing compartment, I guess. I have a Got Milk beanie. There's a, let's see, oh, a balaclava, that's pretty good. And a Seahawks beanie. And that, that's all I have in here, I guess. Alright. What do we have here? 
Okay, this is just a bunch of random uh, candles. I have my uh, spice kit here. Here's an El Cheapo headlamp. Man. A uh, razor. Some more these fire sticks. What is this? A glow stick. A whistle in the package. This looks, looks like my bathroom compartment <laughs> with uh, just a bunch of shampoo and soap and aspirin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and that's all I have in this compartment. Whatever this compartment really is, I have no idea. Man. <laughs> I have, I have my survival logbook here. I'm not sure what. I saw some more stuff here. What is this? Oh, okay. So this is my little uh, food kit. So this is the three day responder made by eFoodsDirect.com. That's all I have there. Let's see what do I have. I feel like there's something else in here. As you see, I don't really have a water filtration or a shelter. Oh, well, here you go. Here's a large poncho. Looks like it's insulated, like a thermal type poncho. This is just a bag. <laughs> oh, and then I have, well, this is kind of cool. I have the Coleman. This is like a little uh, fishing kit, like a pen style. Fishing rod. I'm not sure where I got this. But yeah, just in case I need to fish at the Seattle Aquarium during a bug out location, that's, this is what I'll use. Uh, yeah. And that is everything in my Urban Bug Out Bay <laughs> version 1.0. Jeez Louise. As you can see, the Urban Bug Out Bag version 1.0 was a complete and utter disaster. I made it around six or seven years ago when I was just starting off with the idea of prepping and I bought a bunch of things at Army supply stores, uh, places like Big Lots, Harbor Freight, Walmart, threw them into a bag and that was my bug out bag. <laughs> and uh, It's just missing so many things, shelter, fire making methods, water filtration, uh, you name it, it's probably missing in here. So I was really glad that I was able to complete the Urban Bug Out Bag version 2.0 because I don't think I would have been lasting too long in the Urban Bug Out Bag version 1.0. I feel that it's quite possibly one of the worst bug out bags on YouTube. That's going to do it for this video featuring the Urban Bug Out Bag version 1.0. I hope that you enjoyed watching it while you still can. This is the moment we've all been prepping for, the end of the world as we know it. So I hope that you're safe and sound at your homes and at your bug out locations. And let's just try to ride this thing out for the next several days. I'm here with all my supplies and we'll see how things go. Talk to you guys later.